What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a much needed tip. So probably one of the most popular blitzes in the game right now is 5-2. If you guys are in Weekend League, you guys are in Mud Head to Head, even Salary Cap, you guys are seeing this blitz. Now it might not be the best defense, because you have to adjust out of it, but as far as blitzing, it is by far the best one in the game. So I'm going to be giving you guys that today, how I like to beat it personally. I'm not going to give you guys the blitz, I'm sure you guys can find it on YouTube, it's not mine. You guys can look elsewhere, you'll find it. But Personally, I'm just going to give you guys how to beat it, and if you guys can do me a favor, man, really help me out. You guys have been doing a great job for me. Drop a like for me. It'd really help me out. Um, if you do that, that'd be awesome, man. Let's jump into the video. Let's get it. Okay, guys. So basically, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you guys a concept. Now, I run Trips Tight End. I'm sure you guys know that. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys that at Trips Tight End. However, I um, you guys can really do it out of anything. Sorry, I called the wrong thing. Um, so. Let me move it back real quick for y'all. But yeah, so it's basically a concept. This is what I'm gonna tell you guys to do. So I'm gonna set up the blitz for you guys real quick. Baseline. So essentially they're sending seven people. That's what they're gonna be doing. So that you guys can see, this is what they have. They're usering on a safety. They have to user this guy or this guy, one or the other. And then they have three other zones to work with, right? So here's what here's what I like to do personally. If I'm playing something that really I really don't think knows what they're doing, this is what I do. You can either leave Kelsey on his corner route or streak him too. So this is probably my first set that I like to do. If you're in doubles, you don't even have to do the motion. You could just do this. Um, just find anything with a table route. That's the first thing, and then have two wide receivers on each side. And you can set this up if you're in bunch you can just motion the guy out uh, and then you'll have it like it's 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 pretty much the same thing no matter what you're in but this is the setup so basically here's what you're gonna be doing you see what they have here uh, you see they have to they have to use the streak right so since you're motion over a guy they're probably gonna take this guy fuller and they'll probably put him in a deep quarter right take away that streak now they have the entire right side on their own so I'm just gonna show you guys I'm gonna hike it here I'm gonna pretend that this is the user I'm gonna man up the running back so I'm gonna pretend that that's what he's using okay and then I'll show you guys the two passes you can make here okay so you guys saw there's seven seven people they they all came in free I mean the blitz is very very good um, you can see the end both ends were gonna come in free and uh, possibly some other people, but the ends both came in free. You guys see that. That's cool. Whatever. Now, if they're their user, they have to take away this table route, right? If they, if this is what they do, you can either hit Kelsey right here with a high pass, LB and whatever receiver it is, or this drag. Or, to be honest with you, you can pass lead in this, this seam streak too. Now, I'm going to show you guys the next thing. So... Okay, so I set it up. Street Kelsey, drag the outside guy. So we have the same thing, right? Now maybe they do this. Maybe they do this, right? Try to take away that drag. And then this is their user, so they're down here. They have to deep quarter this guy. And then man for the running back. So I'll show you guys Kelsey. I see him go down there. Quick pass to Kelsey. L, B, and A. Just press his button. Now, next, do the same exact thing. It's really, really simple. Just re Guys, they're sending seven people at you. I can't stress it enough. They are sending seven people at you. There's nothing they can do to stop you if they're going to do that. Like, just put everything on the field. Now, if they're mixing in five and six and they actually know what they're doing, that's when it gets a little bit more complicated. I'll show you a couple things that you can do for that as well. But this time, I'm going to take away the streak. And uh, I'll just throw the table route. So you see there? Take your table route. Now, obviously, I'm, I have a couple other things as well. So here's my next setup that I like to do. I like, you need to, so every single time, you need to motion this guy over. You need to have like a doubles look. Because if you don't, this is what they're going to do. So if if you don't motion this guy, imagine Hill's not there. 
they can just leave this guy in his cloud flat, right? Or his hard flat, do whatever, and then use her right here, and you're done. So if the running back goes out, the hard flat takes it. You can lurk Kelsey for a second, and then you have two people on the backside to guard. So you have to motion the guy over and make him respect it every time. That's important. Now, so they deep quarter here. Now here's what they're going to do. Say they do this. So to take away that outside streak there, and maybe they'll yellow here, right? And they're planning on using uh, Conley. Maybe that's what their plan is right here, right? Here's your setup now. Instead of you have a streak, so before we had a streak on B, drag on X, now we're gonna do out route uh, from B, streak on X. And you're gonna see right here, just quickly hit that out route, and you're good to go, right? So you have that. So really, the basic, the basic principle of beating this blitz for me personally is send five receivers out every time. They're guarding five with four. So if you have four streaks in the field, right, which is what we had, or excuse me, three streaks, they can't take their deep blues off. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this. So let's imagine they didn't, sorry, forgot a baseline. line. Let's imagine they took their deep blues off, right? So let's, let's man up A or whatever, right? They take the deep blues off, you throw it deep. Now, I understand that might be a little bit harder of a read right there. So that's when blocking people comes into play. So you've been sending five out every single time, correct? You've been sending out five every single time. And you've noticed that they started doing that, what I just did right there. Right? Oh, I didn't mean to press. So you notice that they're leaving a cloud because you know they know that the pressure's gonna get there before the streak gets out, right? So here's what you do. You're not gonna be able to block it for long, but you'll be able to block it for a second. So you Max Pro. This beats Max Pro. Don't get me wrong, it beats Max Pro. However, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have just enough time to pass that streak. See that? Now, you're gonna ask, well, we couldn't really tell because he, no, watch. He bumps him. You know it's a cloud. If it's a deep quarter, deep half, deep third, anything like that, he's not gonna bump him like that. Watch him bump him here. He bumps him. You know it's a cloud. I'm throwing this, I know it. I'm not looking anywhere else. And I max pro so it gave me just enough time to get this off. Now I know I'm not gonna have long, which is why you can't max pro against it every time. If you max pro every single play, you will lose. I'm telling you right now, you will. But. The key is to mix in the right Max Pro at the right time. So maybe you do this. Maybe this is your setup, right? When you want a Max Pro, this is what you go to. And they're not gonna be able to stop you. Now, something else you could do. If you think they're taking away their deep blue on the other side, it's the same exact thing. So maybe they're using this guy for some reason. You think they're taking off the deep blue over there. You have your Max Pro, just give it some time and you beat them over the top. You wanna to know how you can tell if it's a deep blue or a quarter, or sorry, a deep blue or a cloud? If a cloud just sits there, right? And he's like, just like, looks like he's not backing straight up. He's kinda of just hovering around waiting for the receiver. You see him right here? That's not how deep quarters play. He looks like he's trying to stop the streak right there. Deep quarters will wait like farther down to stop the streak. Now I'm gonna put a deep quarter just to show you guys the difference of how you can tell. Okay, let's set this back up. Now I'm gonna deep quarter him. And I'm just gonna man up B, I guess. Now you're gonna be able to, now I'll show you guys in the replay what it's gonna look like when you have a deep quarter. Okay, jump back into the replays. Now watch this guy, he's in a deep blue this time. He just keeps backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. You see that? The cloud was hovering, he just hovers, 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 hovers right here. The deep quarter never stops backing up, never stops backing up. So that's how you can tell. Okay, so now um, I've given you guys two setups. So here's the first one, so you guys can remember. Three streaks with the table route and the drag. The second setup, this is the first one. Second setup, same exact thing, just out route the, other, the guy on the other side. 
It's really, really easy. You don't have to overthink it. You're not going to... I know, I know it. I know most of you guys are coming out in your play. You're like, oh, I can't block this blitz. I got to max protect. And when I first started playing, that was my mentality too. When you, when you see a blitz you can't block, you just try a million different ways to block it. Well, guess what? Sometimes you don't have to block a blitz. Sometimes you got to make them send less. So if they're sending seven every play, give them three streaks in a table route and an out route or drag and make them play it because there's nothing they can do. There's literally not. And if they're not deep quarters, so like if they just play defense like this, right, and they're using it right here, you literally just have to pick whichever one he's not going to guard. It's simple. Really simple. Like, yeah, I'm going to get screamed at. The guys come right in. You just got to pick one. It's so, like, the guys come right in, obviously. You just got to hit it right as they go. So right here, I have the table route. I have the streak. I can high ball. And I have the out route. That's really it, guys. I don't need to show you guys too much further. There's no there's no reason for me to drown on on it. You guys get it. I'm not going to go up there and try to draw up a dot like... Like, if you guys are trying... Like, I'm not going to go up there and do route combos like this. Or if I wanted to max for... Like, I'm not going to do this. This isn't going to work. I'm not going to have time to get that corner route off. It's just not going to work. So, you don't need regular dots. Just give them quick stuff, man. Just like, literally, like, something like this. Like, just pick whatever one that they're not guarding, you know what I mean? And now, obviously, I didn't set up the blitz or do anything, but you guys get what I'm saying. So, hope you guys enjoy, man. I hope it was helpful. I hope if you guys run into this, you won't get in the habit of blocking it, blocking it, blocking it. But really, you'll just try, you'll just try to um, make, them, make them get out of it. So, once you, like, once you start hitting them with five, they'll start doing this. They're going to start using this guy. And then, max proing it does work. And you can actually draw up a dot and actually do something like this. You get what I'm saying? So once you see that they're on a linebacker and they're not blitzing them anymore, that's when you have them and you can actually start picking up the blitz and actually start drawing something up. Hope you enjoyed, man. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.